Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Carolyn Levine, your student body president. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome all of you to Villanova's annual last lecture and toast for the class of 2022. So we've done it. We've made it to the end of our undergraduate career at Villanova, a milestone that I'm sure many of us have mixed feelings about reaching. The next year brings new challenges, new experiences, and perhaps most of all, new uncertainty. So after many mornings in Bartley, Driscoll, Mendel, Tolentine, and Sear, learning from our distinguished faculty, this is our opportunity to hear some parting words of wisdom to guide us during our next steps. What better way to end our undergraduate career at Villanova than with one last lecture from the senior class's favorite professor? During this past semester, students voted on who they would like to hear give their last lecture. All nominees were fantastic. They understood and related to their students and catered lesson plans for their growth and development. They are personable, caring people, extremely intelligent, have a realistic view of the real world, and are engaging and funny. While all professors are deserving, there is one that stood out as the top choice for the class of 2022, Dr. Stephen Litka. Congratulations, Dr. Litka. So this is the part where I read nice things about you. As one student remarked during the nominations, Professor Lidka is the most amazing professor I had at Villanova. He is an absolute gem. He remembers everyone's names, keeps up with all of his students, and is the most supportive person on campus. He is the best choice to send undergraduates into the real world because he has believed in all of us for four years. Many students who nominated Professor Lidka said that he had their best interests at heart and had an unparalleled dedication to their success. But before we introduce our honored lecturer, we want to take time to recognize the other nominees. Dr. Paul Camacho was the nominee for Arts. Dr. Dave Deinhart, who joined us today, was the nominee for the College of Engineering. Dr. Terry Capriotti was the nominee from the M. Louise Fitzpatrick College of Nursing. And Dr. Frank Algano was the nominee from the Sciences. Thank you all for making an impact in the lives of students. You've all played a role in forming us into who we are today. Now, without further ado, we'd like to officially introduce our last lecturer. Dr. Steve Litka is an associate professor in the Accounting and Information Systems Department. He has earned six teaching awards and multiple service awards during his 27-year academic career. His research on performance measurement and incentives has earned two best paper awards and the 2013 Elsevier Publishing Outstanding Author Contribution Award. Dr. Litka has served as academic advisor to six Villanova student organizations, and he's especially committed to three organizations that promote diversity, equity, and inclusion, NABA, Alpha, and Ascend. Dr. Litka serves on the boards of three nonprofit organizations and was commended by both the Pennsylvania Senate and House of Representatives for his efforts to prevent the closure of Catholic high schools in the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. Dr. Litka has impersonated Elvis at two weddings, has an unstoppable hookshot, and was once called brother by Ringo Starr of the Beatles. Please join us as we welcome Dr. Litka to the podium. Hey, 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 and hello, Villanova class of 2022. <laughs> on behalf of the amazing people on the stage with me and myself, thank you for allowing us to be here. And I especially have to thank Caroline for that incredibly kind and generous introduction. I kind of suspected that that introduction was going to be over the top, especially because I wrote it myself. <laughs> and when I wrote it, I did what corporations, universities, and people all around the world do every day. I showed myself in the best possible light. And thus, we already come to my first point of the day. Deception and fraud are all around us. <laughs> On the screens, hopefully my, my PowerPoints are going, is a photo of me in college. No? Oh, we gotta get that going. Where's my PowerPoints? Th 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 no? <laughs> oh, 
head shaved for those of you who can't see. <laughs> we all have failures. We all have things that we keep off of our LinkedIn pages. Recognize it and don't fall for the constant posts, tweets, TV shows that make us all feel like everyone else's lives are perfect. Hopefully a few of you have seen the movie, Catch Me If You Can, Leonardo DiCaprio, right, Tom Hanks, a decent number. Uh, for those who haven't, Catch Me If You Can is about a real person, Frank Abagnale, who pretended to be a pilot and a doctor and a lawyer, and he swindled a fortune by forging checks. Mr. Abagnale now works as a fraud expert, and he met with three of my students. That's him in the middle. I think Alicia Langan and Daniela Estrada are somewhere here in the audience. Where are you guys? <laughs> One of the themes that Mr. Abagnale expressed to us is that criminals get more and more sophisticated. The dark web, eavesdropping technology, text and phone scams, it is absolutely terrifying. I'll give you guys an example of just how creative criminals are. Illegal drug and gambling operations, they need accounting records just like any other business. For example, you need to keep track of who owes you money. But you also have to be able to destroy that evidence very, very quickly if law enforcement arrives. I will now demonstrate one of the methods for destroying evidence. This is a gambling slip. Oh no, the FBI is here. Crazy, right? I have a friend who does investigations for the government. He is busted into rooms too slow, only to see evidence exploding all around him. Crazy. But let's get back to Mr. Frank Abagnale. That man's story is unbelievable, right? Absolutely unbelievable. Now ask yourselves, if his story is unbelievable, why do we believe it? We, the public, believe a story written by a man who has made an entire career by telling lie after lie. Mr. Abingdale was so incredibly nice to us during his meeting. And he did a public presentation afterwards. It was phenomenal. I absolutely loved him. But fact is, there is no evidence other than Mr. Abingdale's word for many of the key parts of his story. In accounting, we teach students about professional skepticism. We don't run around accusing people of being dishonest or being criminals without evidence. But we always keep our guard up. And if something in your lives seems too good to be true, it probably is. To our liberal arts students in attendance. There we go. Make no mistake about it. Liberal arts are the core of a Villanova education. Please continue to challenge us to think. Make us question our assumptions. And please, please keep pushing us out of our comfort zones. Seek truth. Veritas. The world is tough. We need people who are honest and good and ready to serve. And on that note, I will share a lesson that was first taught to me by my old parish priest, Father Bernard Azaki. And I'll do so by announcing for the very first time today my new business venture. Peanut butter. Peanut butter is an awesome business. Who here has ever eaten peanut butter? Huh? Huh? Amazing, right? 
The only problem is that there's already lots of brands on the market, right? We have Jif and Skippy and Peter Pan. So how am I going to make my peanut butter stand out? I am so proud today to introduce you guys to V-Nut Butter. <laughs> I'm a measurement guy. The Food and Drug Administration regulates peanut butter. And the FDA puts limits on the amount of contaminants allowed in each jar. And it turns out that all of the popular brands put way less filth into their peanut butter than they're allowed to. That's what's going to make V-nut butter different. <laughs> what I did with the help of a friend, this is real. We took pure peanut butter and we added back in the maximum amount of pollution allowed. In this 500 gram jar of peanut butter, there are exactly five rat hairs and 145 insect parts. There is practically a bug in every single bite for you. Who wants a taste? <laughs> Your parents must be very proud. <laughs> If anyone wants, I'm happy to let you try after the ceremony. You can actually see the specs in here. It's pretty, pretty darn exciting. Now, most people aren't even going to think about eating this nasty stuff. Now think about your faith lives. How many times have you let yourself lie or be cruel to others or cheat on a homework or a test and then say to yourselves, that's okay, I'm pretty good. I'm better than most people. We don't want our peanut butter to have some minimum level of purity. We want as much garbage out of that peanut butter as possible. I believe in God. And in the same way, I don't think God wants us aiming for some acceptable level of sin. So in the future, every time you knowingly act against whatever faith you profess, imagine that you were giving God a rodent hair or an insect part. God deserves better than that. Have the conviction to strive every single day to be 100% pure. Be excellent. To my beloved Villanova School of Business students. <laughs> the stereotype of us sucks. <laughs> A lot of people think that we will do absolutely anything to make money. Let's break that stereotype by helping the world allocate its resources fairly, wisely, and honestly for the betterment of all. Let's aim to always be good and do good. Love God and love your neighbor. Caritas. And now, a message for the engineers in the audience. And the science majors, the engineers and the science majors. Please create things that make a difference. Protect our natural resources. Keep getting clean water to the thirsty and medicine to the sick. Create things that elevate us all. Create things that transcend this mortal life. Create things like double neck guitars. So introducing my backup band, The Cash Flows. The Cash Flows and I recorded a little stairway to heaven. Do not fool yourselves. Class of 2022. The path to goodness is difficult. And those of us who have prayed in the church of rock and roll know there's an entire highway to hell. 
But alas, my friends, there is only a stairway to heaven. Veritas, unitas, caritas. I absolutely love our motto. Truth, unity, and love. I've already talked about truth and love, and now I will focus on unity. I think the thing that most sets our university apart is the fact that the members of Nova Nation are here for each other. And that community has been needed more than ever during this crazy pandemic. We learn from each other. Our alumni take care of us. And I hope that each of you is prepared to take care of the next generation. All of us are absolutely essential to Villanova University. And if anyone here thinks that they are the most important person in attendance, please just remember, there are nurses in the house. God bless the nurses. And that brings me already to our final topic, Villanova basketball. If you want to know how much I love Villanova basketball, just take a look at my three license plates. 1985, 2016, and 2018, I got them all. And believe me, I have loved every year in between and since. The reason why we love Villanova basketball so much, I think, is because we do it the right way. Team first, just like everything we do here. I have asked Franklin Peeker and Kathy Rykowski to come up. We have a demonstration for you. You see, in life, you might want the glory of scoring the winning basket, but it might not be meant to be. You might be dribbling, and the defense might have your way completely blocked. <laughs> and you can try to force it on your own, or you can remember that it is all about the team. You can pick up your dribble, turn, and pass the ball to an open teammate. And you can pass the ball to an open teammate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Villanova legend Chris Jenkins. Cats win it all. Cats win it all. Cats win it all. Be good and do good. Congratulations, Villanova University, class of 2022. <laughs> oh, God bless you, my friend. Thank you. How's everyone doing? No, 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 I need a little bit more than that, y'all. Y'all about y'all graduates. How's everyone doing? So from one wildcat to all of you, congratulations, class of 2022. And I know this may be sad with Coach Wright leaving at the same time as you all, but he always taught us about attitude, so we're expecting everybody in the Villanova community to have a great attitude, and Villanova basketball will continue to do great things. So at this time, I would like to invite Father Peter Donahue to deliver the toast, but go Cats. All right, bring out the champagne. Here we go. And Coach Wright is not leaving. He's in my office filing things. So. 
Thank you, Chris, for the introduction as we toast the Villanova University class of 2022. And let's have another round of applause for the legend, Chris Jenkins. During our orientation, I welcomed you to the Villanova community. And that weekend, I also challenged you with the words of St. Augustine to become what you are not yet. To take advantage of all that Villanova and this community had to offer you. To get involved with new things and push yourself and above all, never stop learning. These were words of advice to you during the first days on campus. And as I stand here with you nearly four years later, my advice remains exactly the same. Your Villanova journey as an undergraduate student may be winding down, but there is still much more to explore, examine, and experience, so don't be complacent. There is always room to grow and more to learn. But these, this only occurs if you are willing to let it happen and if you are an active participant. So I encourage you, the class of 2022, to continue to discover, move in new directions, find meaning in what you do, and make sure it matters. These actions will ultimately define your legacy and the legacy of Villanova class of 2022. My hope for every student that comes to Villanova is that they leave here feeling and knowing that they have grown intellectually, emotionally, spiritually, and socially. Use every experience, every memory, every success and failure from your time at Villanova to help guide you wherever life may take you. In closing, let us toast your four years at Villanova. May each and every one of you, as you said during your orientation, welcome the opportunity. Your passion will light the way. I hope that and more has occurred during your time at Villanova and will continue long after you leave campus. Cherish the memories, cherish the friendships, and continue to make every moment count. To the class of 2022, congratulations. Once a cat, wildcat, always a wildcat. Go Nova. Thank you all for coming to the last lecture and toast. We hope that you're having a wonderful commencement week thus far. We wish you all the best tomorrow. And I hope you now and enjoy, excuse me, invite you all to join us for a strawberry reception. Thank you.